Hey friends, this is Moon here and welcome to my channel. So friends, in the previous session I have discussed about what is Gothic novel and the characteristics of Gothic novel as noted in the Castle of Otranto briefly. But in this session I am going to discuss the full note or the detailed description of the characteristics of Castle of Otranto as a Gothic novel. So don't forget to check that video, I will provide the link in the description box. So now let's start to the session. So Horace Walpole's novel The Castle of Otranto is generally regarded as the first Gothic novel as well as the founding father of Gothic novel. In the second edition of Castle of Otranto, Walpole applied the term or word Gothic to this novel in the subtitle as a Gothic story. So the term Gothic was originally was a term related to the medieval architecture and art which was dark, decaying and dismal. So in Gothic romances or tales, this theme or this medieval atmosphere is embodied typically in enclosed and hunted settings such as castles, crypts, convents or gloomy mansions in images of ruin and decay and in the episodes of imprisonment, cruelty and persecution. So in Castle of Otranto, Walpole displayed the element of the presence of a castle, atmosphere of mystery and suspense, ancient prophecy or curse, supernatural events, high and overwrought emotion, women in distress and saved by hero, women threatened by tyrannical powerful male, the imagery of gloom and terror, the vocabulary of gothic etc. Okay? So now at first let's start discussing about the castle of Otranto setting in a castle. So as in the title itself we find the name of castle. That's why not only in the castle of Otranto but also in other gothic novels there is the presence of a gothic castle. Howells sees this gothic castle as being a shadowy world of ruins and twilight scenery lit up from time to time by lurid flashes of passion and violence. The Otranto castle with its ghosts, bleeding statues, the images of giant hands and feet, the helmet that crushed the walls, these things push much the novel's action. And this trend of using the gothic architecture began with this novel and became the major element of this gothic genre. So the castle of Castle of Otranto contain secret passages, trap doors, secret rooms, trick panels and ruined sections. Okay. So next we have the atmosphere of mystery and suspense as the characteristics of gothic novel. So some parts of the Castle of Otranto give a kind of threatening feeling of fear to the readers. This type of atmosphere, this type of atmosphere means the atmosphere of mystery and suspense emphasizes the powerlessness of the characters as it seems that they are manipulated by forces. The Catholic elements also invoked in this novel to represent a sense of wonder and mystery like Shakespeare's Hamlet because Hamlet's encounter with the ghost becomes for Walpole a template of terror. So next we have the characteristics of the ancient prophecy or curse. In the castle of Otranto, the family curse arises when a stone helmet falls on Conrad and kills him on the day of his marriage. Manfred began to worry about this situation because Conrad was Manfred's son. Okay, That's why Manfred began to worry because according to the prophecy which was that the castle and lordship of Otranto should pass from the present family whenever the real owner should be grown too large to inhabit it. So actually, Manfred was not the true heir of Otranto castle. He was the usurper, okay? He usurped Otranto castle. That's why the curse or the prophecy said that the lordship of Otranto castle should pass from Manfred's family whenever the real owner of Otranto castle will come, okay? And thus, at the end, the lordship given to Alphonsus grandson Theodore from the usurper Manfred. So after this, we have the supernatural events, okay? So in the castle of Otranto, amazing dramatic events occur, such as the ghosts walking and inanimate objects like a moor or painting coming to life. One of the most memorable supernatural moments in the text is when Manfred replied that Frederick accepts Matilda's hand and is content to waive his claim unless have no male issue. As he spoke those lines, three drops of blood fell from the nose of 
Alfonso's statue. Okay, so this scene was quite supernatural and quite horrifying also. So now we have high and overwrought emotion. So the narration of the castle of Otranto is highly sentimental, and the characters often overcome by anger, sorrow, surprise, lust, fear, and terror. So another important characteristic of Gothic novel is that there is a woman in distress and saved by the hero. So in the castle of Otranto, Matilda and especially Isabella are the damsel in distress. And Hippolyta is the wife in distress. But at last, Isabella is saved by Theodore, who was the hero of this novel. Okay. So likewise, this we have another feature, which is women threatened by tyrannical or powerful men. So, in the castle of Otranto, Isabella is threatened by Manfred when Manfred and Frederick make a deal of marrying each other's daughter. So Frederick's daughter was Isabella and Manfred's daughter was Matilda, okay? Then we have the imagery of gloom and terror. So one gothic story become more gothic when the imagery of gloom and terror incorporating into it by the writing. So some of the phases like howling wind, hearing footsteps, rusty hinges, doors slamming shut. This type of phases adds the imagery of gloom and terror. In the castle of Otranto, when Isabella is running in the underground passage, then an awful silence reigned throughout the subterranean regions, except now and then some blasts of wind that shook the doors she had passed and which, granting on the rusty hinges, were re-echoed. Okay. After this, we have the vocabulary of Gothic. So, in the castle of Otranto, Walpole uses many words to make up the narration fearful. For example. The servant in the castle of Otranto came running back breathless in a frantic manner, his eyes staring and foaming at the mouth. He said nothing but pointed to the court. The company were struck with terror and amazement. Okay. So this type of using of vocabulary makes the narration of Gothic novel more fearful. So apart from the above mentioned characteristics, the castle of Otranto also bears the characteristics like the vision, the escape, the theme of double, etc. Okay, so now we have a conclusion. So to sum up, it can be said that Walpole invented a very valuable genre through the castle of Fortran and thus he established all the necessary elements that provided a blueprint for the layout of Gothic novel. Even the media in today's society still takes elements from his novel. Thus Walpole succeeded in blending the mystery, love and terror which is clear when Thomas Gray on 30th December 1764 wrote from Cambridge to Walpole that the novel made some of us cry a little and all in general afraid to go to bed on nights. Thus the castle of Otranto gave birth a very important genre which is called the gothic genre. So that's it. So friends thank you so very much for watching this video and if you have any queries about any topic of English literature then comment me so that I can make a video of it. So bye for now see you in the next session very soon.